Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the syllabus of uh, chapter 7 of uh, entomology syllabus uh, uh, that is chemical control and toxicology. So knowing the syllabus is very much important for preparing any of the exam, uh, whether it is a JRF, NET, ARS, STO exam. So you have to be well versed with the syllabus. So coming to the detail of the syllabus, so detail of the syllabus contains history, scope and principle of chemical control. So here you need to study the historical point of a um, of the chemical control like when first it has been used what kind of chemical has been used like sumerian we are using sulfone sulfur component that is the first record of using chemical control then what is the future scope you need to study the why we are using uh, why we will be using the chemical control and then you need to uh, study the principle of chemical control what is the principle behind using the chemical a means to control the pest okay then coming to the insecticide and their classification so you detail classification you need to study so classification is mainly based on the toxicity where uh, that can be extremely toxic highly toxic moderately toxic slightly toxic so that is based on uh, your um, LC50 value and LD50 value then coming to uh, your uh, mode mode of entry so mode of entry include the stomach poison contact poison and then your fumigant and systemic insecticide then coming you are to based on uh, mode of action uh, first is mode of entry mode of entry like from where it get entry and then mode of action mode of action that may be the physical poison protoplasmic poison respiratory poison nerve poison all those things then chemical chemical uh, based on the chemical nature so that may be the inorganic organic uh, inorganic maybe the arsenical compound sulfur compound which don't have the carbon component okay and then organic which having the carbon Carbon component that may be uh, your uh, organ, uh, phosphate, synthetic pyrethrite, and many more based on the chemical nature. And then coming to the third topic, that a formulation of insecticide. So formulation is a product which is sold in the market, which contains the active ingredient that is chemical, and then your uh, formulant, and then adjuvant. Adjuvant is the substance which increase, which used to increase the efficiency of insecticide. Though, so there is a solid formulation like dust, granule, your water dispensable powder, water soluble granule, all those things. Then coming to the liquid formulation liquid formulation your soluble liquid it used to come and then your uh, ultraviolet concentrate uh, liquid emulsifal concentrate and these all are the liquid formulations then gaseous formulation your aerosols fumigant those all are comes under the gaseous fumigation so here the call classification you can see that based on natural um, origin based on the origin natural origin synthetic origins natural origin plant based mineral based then synthetic inorganic organic which i told you that organochlorine organophosphate so these classification you need to study in detail like you should know that which insecticide belong to which group like if we say the carbaryl it belongs to carbamate they used to ask the simple example like they will ask the dichlorovas so it belong to organophosphate likewise you need to remember then coming to the next topic that is a physical chemical toxicological property of different group of insecticide so here these are the different group of insecticide that is chlorine, chlorinated hydrocarbon organophosphate carbamate synthetic pyrethrite and uh, chlorodeme form chitinous synthesis inhibitor evermectin and all those you need to study the physical how it is like it is present in a granule form how it looks and then chemical composition what is its chemical composition like which group it belongs and then toxicological property like uh, it is a contact poison stomach poison which kind of poison that you need to study in detail for all these groups then coming to the combination insecticide so combination is insecticide is the insecticide which are recommended to control the insect pests which are resistant to 
major group of insecticide that are commonly used so when insect get resistant they are not controlled by one insecticide so uh, there is a, more than one insecticide is used uh, having the different um, different mode of action so uh, that is called a combination here are some of the very famous combination uh, insecticides are available which is commercially available like they have a specific name many time in exam they used to ask like chlorpyrifos 50 percent plus cypermethrin 5 percent ishi it is called neural d so these you need to remember then problem of pesticide hazard and environmental pollution okay so hazard refers to the risk or danger of poisoning when chemical is used or applied so hazard what it is it is a risk or danger uh, when chemical are used or applied whereas uh, environment so a uh, hazard when hazard can occur hazard can occur at manufacturing level that you very famous you have known that uh, bhopal gas tragedy uh, that is also comes under this example and then during application level many time in news you used to uh, hear like many farmer they used to die so that is called during the application and during consumption level sometime the pesticide uh, residue is more in food and when we consume uh, it can be hazardous to the health then coming to the environmental pollution so pollution is pollution is defined as any undesirable change in the physical chemical and biological characteristics of air water and your land so that is called a pollution so there are different kind of pollution soil pollution water pollution air pollution bioaccumulation biomagnification all those things okay then safe use of insecticide how we can use safely the insecticide so for that we know our insecticide uh, we seek advice from the expert and then use only recommended insecticide so those are those all are precaution for uh, using the safe insect safe use of pesticide so here uh, there is safer guidelines would be followed during for applying while mixing while storage all stage okay then precaution and first aid add treatment like what is the when uh, accidental pesticide poisoning happens so what is the first aid treatment that you need to study so for that you need to know the mode of action of the insecticide so based on that we uh, we used to have the at first aid treatment then insecticide you need to study about the insecticide act okay so in insecticide act it is an act to regulate uh, import manufacture sell transport distribution and use of insecticide with a view to prevent risk to human being or animal or for matter connected therewith okay so uh, this act has been made by the government so that uh, uh, we can regulate the import manufacture sell transport and everything okay so uh, it has came in uh, in parliament in 1968 uh, 1968 and then in 1971 october 1971 uh, it uh, it were um, uh, sorry august 1971 it it got enforced <clears throat> then coming to registration quality control of insecticide so registration any person registration why it is required registration so any person if they want to manufacture uh, the insecticide they need to uh, fill the application form they have to go for the registration so that is for uh, the registration and quality quality control because government used to uh, put check on the quality of the insecticide and their safety guidelines they should follow then evaluation of uh, toxicity how we can we evaluate the toxicity of any insecticide so there is a method called bioassay so it is bioassay is a method which determine the response of chemical on living organism so by using the bioassay by by different method of bioassay we can evaluate the toxicity of uh, insecticide so there are different kind of bioassay methods are there like direct exposure method Equest solution method, film residue method, and all. Then method of toxicity testing. Okay. Uh, 
i think uh, uh, that that also uh, comes under this then determination of lc50 value ld50 value and all those things you have to uh, in that you have to know the how we can determine these values so there is probit analysis method with that the ld50 value lc50 value can be determined so what is the ld50 value it is called as a lethal dose so dose at which 50% of the population insect population can get killed so lt50 value it is the time lethal time at which 50% of the population get killed so these these all things you need to study under that then coming to the pesticide residue in environment and their dynamics and movement so here you have you need to study uh, that uh, how what is the pesticide residue then what's its effect on the environment and uh, how this pesticide it used to move uh, within the environment so um, the amount of insecticide insecticidal chemical initially laid down after the application on the surface of substance is called deposit and the deposit after lapse of time is referred as a residue so there are different method of residue uh, re residue analysis that is a sampling cleanup extraction and all those things you need to study in detail then mode of action of different group of insecticide so you need to study like which kind of mode of action is there so here i have enlisted so you uh, you can go through it